at the onstart of uh, the pandemic in March, there was a lot of confusion. About 10% of our members continue to work in the office because we're a ministry that serves uh, vulnerable uh, populations. So we're providing income assistance and disability assistance. So we do have members that have continued to work. These are our frontline heroes that you know continue to work for the ministry and you know we, we can't thank them enough. And then the members that were working from home, the challenges they were facing is they did not have the right equipment. We were not getting enough information. There was a lot of conflicting information. So members were worried, like what, what are our rights as workers? You know, how can we refuse unsafe work? The stewards, the local chairs, and even our area offices, BCG was getting a lot of inquiries. A lot of members were calling up, asking what was going on and you know, what do we need to do? It was challenging, it was tiring. And you know, it was mentally draining. And I mean, there was a lot of, there's a lot of mental fatigue even right now with our members because this is still ongoing. But you know, I, I take comfort in the fact that we had good support from our OSH department and BCU in general. I mean, our, our, right from our president all the way you know, down to the grassroots, uh, there, there was always somebody there. Even before the uh, public health orders came out for masking, you know, BCG went out and sourced masks. And I personally delivered about 1,200 masks to our frontline workers in my local. This pandemic, you know, really should show our members how strongly the union stood by our side to support our members, and they continue to support our members. So I'm very proud to be a local chair, to be part of BCG EU, and I hope my members can see how important, you know, this union is.